Hey YouTube, good morning and have a hopefully having a great Friday today. I know I am and it is 7.59 a.m. That means it's once more time for some Legend of Zelda Breakfast of the Wild. I'm Mag Synchro with Convertible Turtle Gaming. And hey, Pizza Ball, Jenny Russo, Rainstorm Z, and M Dre31, Artificial Straws. Hey guys, welcome to the chat. I'm doing great, Toby. Thanks for asking. Hello, K Donkey Man. How's it going, guys? And Kid Gamer. Hey, hope you all are having a great day today. We're going to be cracking down on some more cool rocks. Good morning to you, Chadley. How's it going, man? And hopefully, we can get the number that we're needing. If you guys are seeing the number over there, we're at 591, which means we have another 25 to grab. Hey, Ray4, how's it going? Oh, pizza ball. Guys, get some hashtag pizza going on. Yeah, it is Friday. It is some TGIF wonderfulness now. It is It is just so cool to think that the day is come for most everybody where it's the Friday. Korok Hunt continues. Yeah, uh, absolutely starting today again. Um, hey, opponent's loyalty. How are you today? All right. And hopefully Matt will pop in in a bit. But if he doesn't. I'm going to go down here and start kind of messing in this little area. Um, but if he does, come to find out, there's like this little blob of Korox I'm missing over here too. Oh, that's okay, Tiger. Man, we understand, dude. You got school and stuff. That You know, that's that's important. It's responsible. Hi, Paya. How's it going? But yeah, I think we're just going to zip over here. We're going to tunnel down into the ravine. And if Matt pops in, then awesome. If not... We're going to Korok man it up as much as we can, guys. We, we know, we, we have to work with what we got. Hey, Sue Sadukum, welcome. You know, Eric could pop in too. Uh, either of those guys are usually real helpful with the Koroks, or you guys. If you guys know where they are, then just guide me and we'll head that way. Uh, in our Discord, there's actually a picture of all the Korok seeds I'm missing. Um, but I try not to look at that image much more than just a, a, an affirmation of what we're doing. Uh, super hot. Um, does not sound familiar. Hey, Jinx, good morning to you. Hope you're having a great Friday today. Matt and Catwater AWOL? Uh, looks like they might be, but you know, it could be just a little bit, um, in short, you kind of rely on Matt. Uh, not quite much in short. But Matt does make everything a lot easier. I, I will not lie. Having Matt around, I've, I've grown a little soft. I've grown absolutely soft on that. So we just got to get back to our roots, guys. Back to our roots when it comes to finding Koroks. And we may have already just found one. It is quite possible. Nope. That was just the graphics looking a little weird. I thought we had a bombable wall coming up. Hey, Citrus in. Oh, yeah. Matt, Matt and Eric both. I don't have school yet. Oh, okay. That's right. You're on holiday and don't have much time. That's right. Bemuse Virginia Yang. Um, I gotta be honest, Bemuse Virginia Yang. I have my memory. I'm, I'm turning 36 in a couple of weeks, and my memory is not what it used to be. I the name kind of sounds a little weird, um, enough to kind of trigger my head a little, but I don't remember specifics. Oh wow, absolutely, Sue. That is worth the brag. Hey, lazy, how's it going? Yeah, absolutely congrats on that, Sue. That is that is an accomplishment. That's one that we've been chasing since April on this game. Pull our lights all. Um, well, I, I presume you're Bemuse, Virginia. Um, because your name says as such. But I, I don't know... I don't remember anything about you. I'm sorry about that. I, I try to do better about that, but I'm, I'm merely human. Only took five months, so let's see here. April, May, June, July, August. This is month five. I, I might get this finished this month. Last week, day of summer. Oh, man. So that's... That's the summer kind of fading away on you there, kid gamer. It happens to everybody, though. So we're heading toward this canyon, because I think the canyon's going to be the, the safest spot for me to 
run a muck without my my GPS is here because I heard there's quite a few of them there well, that's cool 47% that's great summer ends the 28th for you oh man that's 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 still pretty far away lucky you already started school well you know it happens Oh, guys, this looks like a quark puzzle if I ever saw one. Sure enough. Um, no, Matt, no, Matt, right now. All right, let's just save this game here. And I think what we're going to do, just to be friendly toward Eric and Matt, is I'm going to, I'm going to stamp these ones we find with a leaf. So when I zoom out, I can at least kind of come back to him. Hey, Aaron, good morning to you. School starts next Tuesday for you there. That's, that's you know, the way it is. Um, I, I got lucky on this one, Pizza Ball. I'll, uh, I'll fess up to luck when I can. Because, uh, yeah. Well, this one's actually uh, a star outline. Hey, Logan Parada. How's it going, man? Boom. First one down, guys. We got one down without Matt. We can do this. We only need 24 more. That one, that one's kind of in the canyon. It's not exactly in the canyon, so hey, even better. Hey, La Habanera, how's it going? So it looks like that direction is going to lead us off to the edge of the world. Luckily, in college, yeah, that, that's pretty good too. Um, uh, MD, MDRE, uh, it's hard to tell, right? Google gives me some analytics, MDRE, as to what the age brackets are there. Oh, that's alright, Catwater, no worries. The, uh, but the thing is, right, is that you can't really tell, because people lie on the internet. Hey, Posh Gamer. People lie on the internet, you know, I, I we, we all know that's true. I mean, that's the first thing anybody tells you when you get on the internet, right, is don't believe anything you hear on the internet or see on the internet. Um, but I do get some analytics from Google, and they tell me what everybody's agreed to ethnicity and ages and all that. Hey, Jenny Russo. Uh, toughest beast. Um, uh, you're going to have to redo the last of that sentence structure, man. I didn't quite understand that. Hey, Red Mal, how's it going, man? Exactly, Jinx. People might use their parents' ages... Or, uh, in some cases, you know, they may have their parents watching with them. So, you know, I my brother's a little bit younger than me by about five years. So he would, his kids, uh, my nephews, if they were watching my stream this morning at this point, they would show up in my analytics as being 30-something. Exactly. You can't have an account unless you're 13 years or older. Chad Lee knows what I'm talking about there. All right. We got that one there. Going to go lie down. Okay. Well, sorry you're not feeling too well, opponents. Hopefully you get to feeling better. And we're just going to traverse this ravine the whole entire way, guys. We're just going to walk the course of it and see what we can come across. Because I'm sure we'll find at least one or two more Koroks down in here. At the very least, we'll find something that tries to kill us, and that's always exciting. Hey, Zen and Peng, how's it going, man? Just a tad tired. Want some doggy hugs? All right. Well, that's always fun. Boy, he just shrugged that off, didn't he? He's like, nope, I'm, I'm fireproof. The scale of the vertical. Some quarks are high, some are low. Yeah, that's why I'm thinking we're going to sweep through it um, on the bottom somewhere. Isn't there a game with a Goron down here somewhere? There might be. I think there's a golf game down here with a Goron someplace, which is not my favorite. Um... Oh, that's cool, Tiger. A uh, horse would have helped. Eh, kind of hard to get down here. Higher up on the walls is what I guess, not down here. 
Well, we're going to check down here because I don't know. Um, I have to lie about your age because you have your own email. Uh, you know, that's that's the way it goes for some people. Some people have to be dishonest to, to get things early. You can get a horse down here. Well, um, is that one of those things, opponents, where you say, like, people in general can get a horse down here? Or are you saying that Mad could probably get a horse down here? Because those are two different things. Absolutely, man. Absolutely, Zanon. Uh, the plan this morning was to go through the uh, Korok forest and get some of the Korok seeds on the edges. But unfortunately, I don't know where all those are. Um, and, and Matt's kind of MIA, but that's all right. <laughs> yeah, he's not on Discord. That, that's how I knew he wasn't going to be here at the moment. But that's all right. These things happen. Guys, you know, it, it's like I tell anybody. Oh, am I using the phrenic? Oh, son of a biscuit, guys. I'm using the wrong bow to be hunting these guys down. All right. But we shall persevere, guys. We we got through a lot of this game with before, before you know, a lot of people showed up. Oh, that's cool, opponents. I, I, my, my luck, you probably die. That was a scary pause. Yeah, it was a scary pause for a second. Had a huge thing just looking down at us. Life does happen, absolutely. It's like I tell everybody. You know, we are, we do this to have fun. Uh, is Dig still keen to stream on Sunday? Yeah, she's actually looking forward to Sunday, guys. Yep. Yep. Oh, we got a Korok. Somewhere around here's a Korok, guys. Yep. Son of a biscuit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, not so much that tiger. Uh, not so much that. It. it Toughest beast I have either killed. Are you meaning like divine beast or monsters or like if I was a hunter in a, another life and like actually killed something? Um, you know those kind of things uh, important when you ask questions like that. Yeah, here, Korok, 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 you got it, Jenny. Four more subs, I know, I know. We just can't hit that. We just can't hit that mark. Hey, all right, B13 Tiger, have a good one, man. All right, well, actually, we need to. Yeah, he said, "Ouch," because that thing fell all on top of him. I wonder if I jump if it. No, I was hoping it would maybe make a higher impact. All right, we're gonna put that leaf stamp there. Uh, divine beast. Okay, so as far as the divine beast goes, are you talking about inside the beast itself? Or outside the Divine Beast? Or are you talking about the Ganon Blight inside? I have no clue who you are, Yagnesh. I wouldn't be able to guess if you covered my eyes and blindfolded me. Ooh. Now this is worth using our Fennec Bow on. Wow. One of the longest range game bows in the game. On top of... Oh, there we go. There we go, guys. Alright, all we have to do now is run to it. Uh, the Ganon Blight? Oh, uh, that's going to be Thunder Blight. Okay, we'll take care, man. How many seeds does Hitsu have in those maracas? 441 right now. Now we just have to get all the way up this cliff to get to it. Poor dragon? Nah. Those dragons, they ain't, they ain't poor. They're pretty rich. This looks like to be the best way to come at this, so... And do we have our climbing gear on? We do have our climbing gear on. They did such an amazing job on those dragons. Oh yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, there's some pretty big maracas, depending upon the size of the seeds, though. 
Appreciate that. 600 Korox or 17 subs. Yeah, it is looking like it's going to be the 600 Korox. Oh, Sue, you and I both. I, I was I was impressed. And that right there is one of the coolest things about the dragons is where they, you know, kind of spawn at. The dragon spawn portals are just amazing to look at, too. I, yeah, exactly. And I was like, I had no clue what I was doing. I was like, this thing's going to kill me. I, that's all I could think of, right? Because in this game, everything's trying to kill you. Random NPCs even try to kill you. Oh, wow, Citra Zen. That, that's, that's amazing, man. I am, I'm not going to even try that. I thought about it, and I, I thought that uh, by the time we're done playing this game, we would probably want to go on towards something else. Uh, well, they're the three um, Triforces, as far as I can tell, in this game. Uh, wisdom, Courage, and Power. I'm doing good, Justin Bray. And hey, Travis, how's it going, man? Oh, no. Oh, no. Please don't fall. Link, Link, don't splat. Don't ragdoll. I said don't ragdoll. Ouch. Let's just fast travel here. I don't think the dragon piece will despawn when we fast travel. But we, uh, yeah, we, we absolutely had a fail there, Logan. <laughs> we, we, we had a fail fall. Chat plus climbing goals. <laughs> the name of Korok, man. The Bane, yeah. Oh, there's a lot of things under the Bane of Korok, man. But he's part Korok, so... There's always our feathered friend if you can't climb it. Well, that was, you know, that was kind of a thought, but Revali's gel is not going to get me up there either. I'm beginning to think, guys, that we're not going to get the dragon piece that we shot off the dude. Uh, just the three dragons. Going golfing soon? Okay, cool beans. Have fun. Yeah, I, I don't know where it is, guys. Um, there's a chance, and I'm, I'm not too familiar with the dragon mechanics. But there is a chance that the uh, dragon parts might despawn when I fast travel. Um, oh, wait a second. We got some sort of glowy thing going on here. Uh, that's just the actual moon coming out. And we punt. Oh, we we missed the head. Sadness of the infinite variety, guys. I thought I had that shot. I really did. Well, I also thought I was going to get a dragon skull. Uh, Yagnash, that's not on the agenda, man. Uh, there's there's no way to prove that we've done the golf game in this game. So, unfortunately, it's not really on our list of things to accomplish. But yeah, guys, looks like we're not going to be able to get the uh, the dragon skull. Looks like it disappeared. Uh, Travis in, the one inside the castle. Uh, we're not doing anything castle-related until we get 874 Korok seeds. Alright, so we know we were here last. And we actually found a Korok. Korok man has one goal only, yes, to save and rescue all the Koroks. Haven't watched the past three streams, your phone died. That's okay, Logan. Those things happen. Trust me, guys, I, I am I am just as human as the next man who puts on a Korok mask and runs around looking for Korok seeds. 
I totally understand. <laughs> okay. No worries, Tiger. We'll we'll talk to you, man. It's back, I think, as in the dragon. Yeah, but there's not much I can do about the dragon. I mean, you can only shoot him once per day. So... Oh, wow. This Korok's kind of tucked all the way over here. Boom! Yeah. It's Korok Link, not Korok Man. Uh, no, Yagnesh, it's Korok Man, man. That is... That is the name of the superhero we are, Korok Man. Like Superman, but for Koroks. Uh, we're doing Korok hunting, man. We are, we're trying to get to 25 in the inventory. The next 25. The most amazing thing that's happened to you in Zelda. Um, all you guys. I mean, <laughs> that's just that's just the long and short of it. Uh, the, the fact that Zelda's been able to introduce me to every one of you guys has been super awesome. Um, it, it's helped in so many different ways. I mean, that's that's really... I can't say it any better than that, guys. The, the most awesome, amazing thing is that playing Breath of the Wild has introduced me to all you dudes. Okay, well, I was not aware of that, Yagnesh. We're not too worried about chasing them, though. We have no need at the moment for any kind of dragon horns. Do you know what really are the Korok seeds? Uh, we have our suspicions, but we don't know. Uh, I've taken it out to play uh, Mario Kart. That's about the only time I've ever taken it out. Oh, uh, dude. Nah. Nah, Moros, uh, Morris, dude. We don't handle insults, man. That's that's rather rude. Uh, Alexander Dubois, how's it going, man? Love chasing the dragons on horseback. I bet you do, Ponas. You you are such a super awesome horse rider. That soccer finals, awesome, Logan. What position do you play? Oh, Sue, you guys are much better on the horses than I am. I, I showed you how horrible I was on the horseback. And it was not good. It was really bad. Midfield? That's cool, man. I played uh, uh, right defender and I played goalie in mid school. I'm fine. I think you're going to make a video with the next Super Mario. Uh, probably not, Alexander. Uh, that's the same dragon, Lazy. Uh, so one thing, guys, is if you keep in mind, those of you that are new to the channel or are not frequent to the channel, I'm a very frugal gamer. I, uh, I don't buy games just to buy them. I don't buy games just to play them. Um, I buy games to complete them. I buy games to have an experience with them. And we're still doing Zelda. I mean, it's going to take a while. You know, and I, I take a break. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm mortal like anybody else. And my break for me is Monday nights when we do Melee. And I, I just let you guys decide on that. Hey, Eric Peterson. Good morning to you. Oh, Eric here means we could probably get on with the Korok Hunt where we're supposed to go. Super awesome. Um, need to practice more horseback riding mag. I don't know. When am I ever going to have to need to use that again? Um, Eric, if I recall, you are keeping track of Korok seeds also. Um, these little leaf icons, we're we'll putting down where we get them so you and Matt can update your stuff. Because we're going through the canyon at this point. Oh, exactly, Princessa. Uh, Shadow of the Colossus, I played it a long time ago. I have not played it since. And the plan was to kind of come over here and get these, because I know there's some over here. 
Um, it's going all right, Charles. Oh yeah, Travis. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, and it's it's going great, Charles, man. We were kind of just wandering around aimlessly trying to get Koroks. We managed to get three on our own. We're feeling pretty good about that. Three in the beginning of the canyon. Okay. All right. Pretty epic charging the Hyrule Castle on a horse with the Master Sword at your side. Oh, wow. Well, as, as much as we want to really tackle this canyon... Um, hey, Muhammad Lindsay. I have not played Okami. So I can't say for a fact... Um, I know there's some over here. Uh, favorite thing to do in Zelda? Just to play, man. <laughs> People are like, what's your favorite armor? What's your favorite this? What's your favorite that, man? The whole world is just awesome. Uh, just stealing it down to one single anything is, is pretty much impossible in my opinion. Because the thing is just so well made. Even the rain, guys. Even the rain is great with the way it works. And we're going to remove the spam guys with a timeout on that. Um, B13 Tiger Man, five by the by the ruins. All right, so that's what we were looking for. I know there's five over here. Um, can't get past level ten on Master Trials. That's that's hard, Charles. Um, that's. Is that Master Trials on Normal Mode, or is that Master Trials on on uh, Master Mode? Because that's different. Are there any Zelda games I don't like? Well, there's just one thing that came on the Nintendo a very long time ago. Like, they released it after the original Zelda. And uh, that thing was horrible. I, they called it Zelda, but it really didn't. On Normal Mode? Oh, no worries, man. No worries. Just go one direction, guys. We don't know where we're going. We don't know where we're heading. We just presume we're getting there. I guess we probably want to put on the meteor rod so we can kind of get an idea of where the heck we are. See where this will get us out, if it will even. All right, take my shield out. Um, they are not in there. I, I know they're not in there, but they're nearby, so I kind of had to come over here, right? Oh yeah, th that area is is totally freaky. Um, there there is some insanity there. Looks like we're not getting any mat this morning. Well, yeah, Jenny, that's okay. We're not worried about that. Zilla 2, uh, yeah, that game, man. What, um, the sound of the Zelda game is 10 to 10. Oh, yeah, all the sounds awesome. It's ironic there's no Korok seeds in Korok Forest. Well, there's lots of Koroks in the Korok Forest. Yeah, uh, nobody likes it, and that includes Mag. Um, not my favorite. What's the most favorite beast to kill? Uh, again, Toby, the, the the favorites, man, just not not for me in this game. I mean, the really only way to really get a, a favorite of anything is to have multiple pieces of data. Head west in a circle. Okay, we will do the western circle thing.
I should have. Anybody else want to negotiate? You gonna go? All right. See you, man. Take care of Citrus in. Doesn't the Korok at the top of the Deku tree give you a seed? No, he doesn't. He gives you a diamond. After you do all of his actual work, he gives you a diamond. Which at the time was really, really, really good. Because it was kind of one of those things we needed. But, uh... In retrospect, uh, I think a seed would have been worth more. Just with the amount of time it takes for them and everything else. Yeah, Calaman. Um... Absolutely, dude. On that, we totally understand. That's why we. That's why we timed you out, though. Is because we know that's happened. That happens on mobile, man. If you're on mobile with bad connection, it's going to start sending stuff over and over again. There's just not much we can do about it. Those other two wolves were just getting all the way. Right, we're still heading here. Hey, Austin Tagato, how's it going, man? Yeah, it's been a bit, man. It's been a bit. That's all right. No worries on that, dude. Hmm. So far, we're we're making pretty uh, interesting progress on all this, but we've not seen any sign of the Korok struggle yet. But we still have the rest of the island to circle, so. And while we're here, and low on health, let's head west of that big tree toward a little grove of trees. Okay. You've been sleeping in a lot? Hey, man, I don't blame you on that. I don't blame you at all, at all. Alright, so this little grove of trees here, I think, is what he's talking about. Because west of that would be way too far. So, unless it's right here. So, let's nuke off yellow real quick. And we'll plop down a blue and a yellow and go there. Southwest. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to yellow blue land. Do you think there will be a new Zelda game might come out? Oh, yeah. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. There's always going to be a Zelda game every couple of years. Like, every four or five. Blue? All right. Homing in on blue. Uh, this looks like either a ball in a cup. Oh. That's just one of these. Okay. You play any good games off stream? Uh, not at the moment, Travis. Um, my, my time is pretty much taken up. Oh yeah, I think they'll be open world. They 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 nailed this so far out of the park. Nintendo would be very hard pressed not to make the next one open world. Sword beam? Uh, I wasn't even thinking sword beam. I was thinking about saving my arrow somehow, but no luck there. Okay, so we're going to put another leaf here. Um, hey, Poke Gamer. I, just the way it is, man. Just the way it is. Yeah, absolutely. We found that one. And we're going to delete yellow after heading toward yellow. Do you like Mario Kart and Splatoon? I've not played Splatoon ever, but Mario Kart's good. So the Master Sword doesn't spark? Oh, I just got out of the thunderstorm area. Hey, Oliver Void. Um, I kind of disagree, Austin. You can't you can't take the genie out of the bottle and put it back in. Uh, linear it just doesn't do it for these days, gamers. Right? People people don't want an interactive movie. Um, they they want an interactive book. You should play it sometimes. It's good. Yeah. Um, you know the. Do I have the lightning helmet? I do. But the Korok mask is much more valuable to me right now. It is absolutely more valuable to me right now. Because it's going to help us find these Koroks and zero in them much, much faster. 
Open world is way more fun. It's one of the things I love about a lot of games these days. I, I love the fact that I'm allowed to make my own mistakes. Uh, is this master mode? No, Oliver Boyd. It's normal mode. It is a 100% normal mode completion we're doing. And 100% of everything. Um, absolutely, Travis. Absolutely. The Zelda Tactics would be an exception. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But uh, we're, I think our tactics fix we're going to have is with the Rabbids game. The Mario Rabbids. Okay. Kind of big swoopiness here. Still going west around this. Because that's the way we inform we probably needed to go. Does Digret play Breath of the Wild? Yeah, she does. Uh, not as much, though. Um, yeah, YouTube's been having some problems. Uh, guys, YouTube rolled out a real huge... Real huge update on their terms of agreement for content and advertisements. Oh, well, good luck, Cody. Good luck. Um... Do I take the switch outside? Yeah, I've done that a couple times. I, I usually take it with me to work if I have like training or something going on. The heck is that? Huh. Well, that's cool, Oliver. Absolutely, Eric. I am on the eastern side of Diplo Ruins. I'll zoom in a little bit deeper. Way too far. That's what I was afraid of. That's what I was afraid of. Alright. Uh, what is Digret's job? Digret's job is being my wife, dude. She, she, uh... She takes care of the household stuff, man. Uh, it is a full-time job. Oh, thanks, Koala Beast. So somewhere in this ballpark from where we were is where we have some more. That odd-looking rock has one. Odd looking rock. So maybe here that looks kind of odd. This looks kind of odd. That formation kind of looks suspicious. Just put your phone in charge of YouTube started working again. Uh, Could have been a, a connection issue then. Uh, but yeah, guys, YouTube made a huge update. Um, you may notice some of your channels. It's yellow. Okay. You may notice that some of the channels that you typically watch on YouTube, uh, their content may change. The games that they're, oh, pardon me, the games that they're playing may change. Uh, their their uh, their language may clean up. Um, okay, Cody. Um, yeah, that's probably for the best, man. New share option also. Um, huh. Um, maybe. I don't know why they're called Koroks. I, that's the name that was brought out from a previous series, though. But yeah, Digrat takes care of the household, and it is a full-time job, guys. I, uh... I do what I can to help out sometimes when I, I remember it, but I'm just not that kind of guy, I guess. Yeah. So so what YouTube's doing, um, if you guys have been following the news, about interesting Divine Beast to complete. Uh, this is on Switch with the Pro Controller. Um, so it was interesting Divine Beast. I would have to say... Kind of like the, as far as interesting, I'd say the the lizard. It had the most interesting mechanic in the fact that it was totally dark to begin with. Oh, it's a pinwheel, guys. I see the pinwheel. 
And hey, we got the Korok chat, so there we go. We know we're in the right place. We are in the best of the ballparks now. And, okay, it's one of these. Pop that balloon, maybe. Oh, we missed that one. We got it that time. Welcome back, Super Sour. You cannot find any top-down games? Um... Actually, Eric, you can't sword beam some of these targets. Um, they're, like, sword proof. We found that out on the archery course, that those targets can be with sword proof. So I just don't even try anymore. Alright, and we'll mark the leaf there. Okay, so... But yeah, guys, so basically what happened with YouTube is back in March, a lot of companies like AT&T, Coca-Cola, uh, a lot of huge advertisers saw that a lot of the content on YouTube wasn't really decent. Uh, the first spire east of Lake Mayer. First spire east, so right here. Um, Super Sarah Digrat's my wife, dude. Yeah, this would make it a top-down game, sorta, except for there's still all that 3D space you have to worry about. God, that's a tall spire, guys. Link's gonna... Link's gonna be sweating in his... his gear today, that's for certain. Lots of climbing. Thank you for that, pizza ball. So yeah, so all these content advertisers pulled out, right? Hey, Cyber Wii U Gamer. So, and they told YouTube, hey, we're no longer going to pay you guys money because the videos that you're putting us on aren't, aren't good. Um, top down, uh, it would be very difficult, I think, Chadley. But so, yeah, they were seeing all these people that were pretty much not TV. You need them ads for money? Uh, no, not me, Super Sour. I don't do this for the money, dude. But YouTube needed the ads for the money. So they had to, uh... So they had to decide what they were going to do, right? So YouTube did a couple things. The first thing they did is it used to be if you had like a thousand views on your channel, just a thousand, meaning, you know, 1,000 people saw your video or one person saw a thousand videos, you would be able to be eligible for advertisement and YouTube changed it to 10,000. That actually made a lot of people kind of upset because they wanted their money immediately for becoming a YouTube streamer and that... That, to me, is just putting the wrong emphasis on what's going on here. Uh, let's see here. Where are all these targets at? Oh, wow. That was, that was interesting. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't say that I'm I'm good at poetry. I uh, I would say that I am I'm decent. Okay. Hey Miracle of Zelda. Greed is a problem with so many things. Well, you know, it is. But in this case, Travis, greed's actually going to be kind of good in the long run, right? Because YouTube came out and they told everybody that's a content creator, like myself included, that there is going to be uh, there's going to be some changes in the way YouTube handles the advertisement, and so they want they moved it to 10,000 views to make sure that people were doing good by YouTube, New Northwest all the way to the edge of the map. Okay. 
Okay, so we're gonna go to red. Possibly blue. Maybe yellow. And we're just gonna start heading that way. Because there were there was some I I there are some channels that I just wouldn't watch. A lot of people wouldn't watch because the 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 way it works, you know. They realize that those car ads are now going to be watched by kids. Um, some, yeah, some by Drennan Highlands. Okay, so we're going to be hitting up yellow more than anything. But the thing is, right, is YouTube came back with a really fair way to go about it. Well, that, that is a good example, Chadley. Um, your, your videos are good, in my opinion, man. But you are just starting. So there's going to be some rough around the edges stuff. Um, once you get to 10,000 views, your videos are going to improve. Your content's going to be improved. And that gives YouTube uh, a, a buffer um, to monitor your content and see what it does. And so the, the thing is, right, is if you have a stream that is super violent and gory for the sake of violence and gore not not you know not just violent and gory like skyrim right you get, some of you guys have seen digger at skyrim stream skyrim in and of itself does not trip the scale on youtube if you are just watching skyrim and playing skyrim and doing so in a in a you know typical manner you're you're usually going to be fine now, some of you may have noticed that Digrat uses more mature language. And that language means that it pushes it over the edge a bit. Do people watching your stream count as views? Yes, they do. People watching my stream absolutely count as views. They get compiled in. Still remember Toyota ads from the 90s? I do too. Uh, 90s ads are so funny at times. Oh, wow, Logan. That's... That's pretty rough. But yeah, guys, so... Um, maybe Matt. Be... On time. Um, yeah, we, your gamer, we've already completed all the side quests except for those in the castle, man. So, those are all done. Comedy will be a lot weaker. Um, not really, Austin. People that are in it for the art will still be in it for the art. Oh yeah, Toby. The Zelda story is great. The eternal struggle between good and evil. Uh, yeah, and those guys are going to take a hit for it. They're not going to get the advertising revenue. And that's that's the way it is. Hey, HTC Oasis. Welcome to the channel again, man. And exactly. Sponsorships are a prime example. And some channels, um, small, and people are like, oh, this is going to hurt these smaller channels, right? Well, I, I got news for you. My channel's not going to get hurt. Uh, would I ever stream Dragon's Dogma? Dark Skull, I never say never, man. I've not played Dragon's Dogma. I actually opted for uh, Kingdoms of Anilar Reckoning instead because it seemed like it was a better game. Appreciate that, HTC. Oh, he's he's a he is a, a returning viewer. He knows what's going on, Logan. That's the reason why his messages are so short. You die, sir, and you die, sir. Now I just go right along my way. Uh, yeah, I know, man. Tomorrow is stream number one hundred. It is uh, for Zelda. It is going to be episode. Uh, no, it's not a hundred stream. It's not 100 stream. Tomorrow is going to be uh, episode 94. We're coming up to 100 stream, though. Nah, <laughs> Cyber Wii U gamer, I can't shield surf with anything, man. Shield surfing and horse riding is kind of my my downfall. Uh, we're right over here, man. This is where we were wanting to go all time here. But yeah, so people are like, it's going to so. You have some episodes that are multiple videos. Yeah. Yeah, that... that it, it might be the 100 Zelda stream, sort of. Oh, it's... It's, uh... uh no, Jenny, it's not. It, it's not a buffet tomorrow. It'll be a buffet on Sunday, but not Saturday. Uh, 
Hey, Dark Skull, welcome to the Turtle Club, man. Uh, I don't know. But yeah, I, uh, I'm not sure if that's something that will be celebrated really or not, because the thing is, right, is the 100th stream isn't going to be on a on a buffet or anything, so we really won't be able to do anything. Oh, 100th vid? Ah, are you, are you sure about that? Because if you're saying vid, then my Revali's Gel vid counts too, right? And that means that this is technically my 100th one that I'm doing right now. Alright, we are here. But yeah, so a lot of content creators are going to be kind of affected. Um, the real ones are the news channels. Like, politics and news. On either side of the fence. They're not going to have advertisements. Oh, yeah, HTTC Oasis. We, we, we try our best to keep making sure that we're putting out good content. I right, see you, Travis. Um... Toby, I just showed that off not too long ago, man. I'm, I'm sorry if you missed it. You can rewind the stream and see it, though. I, I understand you guys want to know really where I'm at, but if I spend the whole stream rewinding it to show everybody, we sadly don't get any kind of uh, advancement in the actual content. Alright, so... We are going to pull the map up just though. Um, we, we are needing some guidance as to where we're looking at. Keep heading past the pin along the edge. The pin is gone. Um, but along the edge we can definitely do. So we will turn back and go past to the pin. Because I'm pretty sure we missed it. Oh, that's okay, Artificial Straws. I understand you're upset about that. But no worries. Double wolf hit, yeah. By the lone rock by the edge. Okay, that's what we love to hear. So right here is what I'm guessing. So we're gonna pop up this way. Oh, Posh Gamer, I do ads, man. Um, oh wow, guys. I don't think this dragon's gonna be able to get away this time. Oh, we totally whiffed the dragon. Oh no! I'm on fire, guys! That was not good. Other way. Okay, other way. So maybe red? Oh, that's a cooking pot. That's not red. Uh, no, gamer. Uh, this is 100% completion, man. We're doing the, uh, castle at the end of the stream series. That's the way it works, Minecraft. That, that's the way it works, man. Subs go up, subs go down. Yeah, I've seen the ads for it. Uh, Dark Skull, yeah. Dark Skull, okay. Yeah, guys, I see the Lionel. Does the Lionel see me, though? It's a Spear Lionel. Nope, no Castle Shrine yet, guys. When when I get that Castle Shrine, it's going to be... It'll be basically when we're about to end the series. I mean, that's when the... When we'll be almost done streaming. Ha, <laughs> Yeah. Okay, we need to zoom out, because that's way too close to these. Alright, let's see here. Got that one. Got that one. Come on. Alright, got that one. Boom. Oh, that's cool, Kilton. Uh, Eric, on the Kilton thing, yeah. Is the Spring of Courage and Pharaon... Uh, I think so, Logan. I don't know. <laughs> is it hard to do all the seeds? No, no, it's not hard, man. Uh, it is... I, I think the word is tedious, but not hard. I mean, 
It's like, is it hard to walk a thousand miles? No, it just takes a long time. Mount Drenna, okay. We're going to presume the peak of Mount Drenna. Yeah, it's a time sink. It is absolutely a time sink. Um, no HTTC, man. We have no reason to fight the Lionel. There's no reason for us to do combat with him. So we have no reason to fight him. We 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 have a goal. Um, I'm correct. Awesome, awesome. We have a goal of Korok seeds. We have a description for the video that tells us we're farming Korok seeds, and that if we get to our actual goal of a set of 25. How many seeds are in the game, Toby? There are 900. It is absolutely a good time sink. You know, I wish certain games would take some example of this. Uh, how many more Korok seeds? Um, unpredictable Mango. We need... So we're going to 75, so we need like 18 more seeds. Right? Yeah, 18 more seeds. And we'll have our goal for the next armor upgrade. Because we're doing 25 seeds, then an armor upgrade to level 4. Then 25 seeds back and forth until we get that all finished. Yep, we call the light... Hey, it's the lightsaber. Check it out, man. It is a lightsaber. It glows... It makes a whooshing noise, and when you hit things, it goes krakow. Do you wish Breath of the Wild had a fishing pond? Nah. I, I, as as uh, robust as it is, we we call it that. Um, as far as gaming goes, robust as it is. Are you, yep, I'm going to get all 900 seats, Toby. Uh, technically, we're going to get 874 seats. And then we're going to go and go in the castle and get the rest of it. But 100% everything. We are, we're doing above and beyond. Alright, see you, HTTC. Have a fun time at the beach, dude. Thanks for stopping in. I'm collecting golden ice cream? <laughs> That's a way to say it, too, yeah. There's 14 close to each other by Solari Hill? Okay. Um, well, where is Solari Hill? And did I remember to mark those other ones with our leaf? We didn't mark this one with leaf, but we already had that one. Trying to make sure that when Matt gets back in also, we'll be able to quickly help him update his map. <laughs> Funniest name someone ever given to a sword? Hey, man. Uh, I don't even know what you... What other name could you really give it, man? I mean, the thing... Yeah, I mean... Dear Nintendo, your glowing sword that makes things melt. George Lucas is going to sue. Who was my first mod that I picked? My wife. My wife was my first mod. And then my next mod, um, I actually chose both Prandy and Laura. Your dog keeps punching you? Oh, man. Yeah, if your dog's punching you, that's that's kind of aggressive. Uh, and then Hoyd was our next mod. And after that was Matt Rayford and Catwater. Yeah, Eric just got his 100% recently, if I recall correctly. Whoa, guys, did you see that? Um, I'm not sure what that is, guys. That, that is, that's the buggy chest, yeah. Master mode caused this, huh? Let's 
Stasis? Yeah, stasis might be a way to go about it, but I think we're going to have to magnetize it. Also. Oh, wow. It's still not fixed. Yeah, it's still not fixed. And that was kind of like not even worth it. I wonder if I drop it off the cliff if it'll actually go back to respawning. Yep, sure does. That's too funny, guys. <laughs> That's too funny. <laughs> oh, and on that note... Oh. I wonder... So, what kind of weapon do we have that we can get rid of? Oh, we have a royal halberd we can get rid of. I wonder if it's got the royal halberd still in it. It does. Okay. Now the question is, if we were to pitch it off the cliff, what's it going to do now? Hey, Kalen Spear. Is it gone now, guys? Aww. I think the falling chest is gone now. Sadness. It shouldn't respawn now, technically. I, I agree. There, there's definitely that technicality there. Uh, and that's going to be the last thing that we do on the stream today, guys. Is the, the glitchy chest. We're going to put down our travel medallion, since this is where we're at. It is just a little after 9 o'clock, and it's work day for me. So, that's that's unfortunately just the way it goes. And just to remind you guys, Wednesday next week I gotta go back to the dentist. Mag versus the dentist round, whatever it is. It was pretty amusing, I have to admit. I was hoping, and this is kind of where we're at with these Korok seeds, right? I was hoping that that rock, had I put it there, that the chest would have bounced off and hit the Korok. But it was not meant to be. Um, Apricadab, I don't believe those respawn on Blood Moons, but they could. Um, if they do, that's kind of funny. Round six, round four, I, I don't remember, guys. I know I went in for the initial assessment, and then I went in for a cleaning, and then another cleaning, and then a root canal, and then another root canal, and then I went in for six. So this is technically round seven, I guess. But yeah, what are you doing at the dentist? Uh, Logan, I'm getting a bridge put in, an extraction and a bridge. But Abracadab, uh, Artificial Straws, Catwater, Chadley Charles, Cyber Wii U Gamer, Eric Peterson, Game Master, Jenny Russo, Kellen Spear, Logan Parada, Posh Gamer 99, Princessa, uh, Time to Deliver a Pizza Ball, Toby Ward, uh, all you guys coming in here. Um, super awesome to see you all. Um, Jinx, Poke Gamer, Paya, Austin Tagano, Lemon Cakes. Um, B13 Tiger. Everyone who's coming today, you guys have just been super awesome. Koala Beast. Super Sour. Dark Soul. Oh, uh, guys, you guys have just been amazing today. Really appreciate it. Um, I think that's everybody. But, uh, yeah, we'll be on Discord, guys. Um, well, I, I usually pop in when I actually get to work. Um, yeah, after next week, absolutely. And, guys, tomorrow is not a buffet stream, but the day after is, and the day after that is as well. So that's definitely one of the best things about this dentist thing is it's not happening on a buffet stream. And we're going to head back to the house. We drop that little travel medallion so we can come back in as well. Five hundred and ninety-nine Korok seeds, guys. Is 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 that not amazing? Think about this, guys. We're at five hundred and ninety-nine Korok seeds. We have five subs. We have five subs before we hit seventeen K. Um Buffet Streams? Game Master. Yeah. 
If that's the the buffet command, it kind of explains what's going on for the buffet streams. And I once again traveled to the wrong city. But on days that I don't work, we extend it based upon viewer participation, man. And we're going to go tuck in Link. He's going to get in some Shut-Eye, and then I'm going to go ahead to bed as well, guys. But yeah, I've, our, our most lengthy one was till 11.40. 11.40, guys. Got pay excited? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Everybody. Hey, Noah Vaughn. I see you, man. What is the buffet? Uh, if you'll see what Nightbot set up there on Sundays and Mondays at the moment, because those are days that I do not work, we do an extended stream, Toby. And that's, that's the only way to really explain it without going into all the details, but we explain that throughout the buffet stream. And so you may absolutely want to make sure that you get your likes in on that day. You want to make sure you absolutely get your friends to watch and get new people to the channel because that means that the channel goes longer. Um, the longest we've streamed for on a Sunday, Monday buffet is 11.40 in the morning. So if you could imagine this stream going on for 2 hours and 40 more minutes, that's what a buffet would be. But yeah, always longer than an hour. Always. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, it'd be kind of cool if it was in Kakariko. The DLC might add that. You never know. But yeah, guys, um, really appreciate you guys for being here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow morning for some more breakfast. Take care.